Apple's new OS 26 software updates brought a lot of new features to all of our Apple devices. But it's not just the devices that got updates. A lot of apps did as well, specifically two of Apple's best apps, Apple Notes and Apple Reminders. So here are all the new features that you need to know about in Notes and Reminders. I'm going to demonstrate using my iPhone today, but just know that all of these features are also available on your iPad and on your Mac the buttons just might be placed a little differently. Starting with Apple Notes. When you open the app, you'll notice it did get a little bit of a liquid gloss makeover. So the search bar is now gonna be at the bottom of your screen and all your menu items are gonna be within the three dots here in the top right. So when you click on that, it'll open up with more menu options. You do have the share button to the left. And of course you still though can long press on any note to get a few quick options here as well. Once you go into a note and place your cursor, if you long press, you'll also see liquid gloss effect up here with your cursor can move around and there's this nice liquid gloss bubble that moves along with it. My favorite new Apple Notes feature though is the new dynamic menu bar. So here above your keyboard, you no longer have to dig through a bunch of menus to find your formatting options, this bar is now scrollable. So you can actually swipe through and see all of the different formatting options in one place. You can though always press the AA button and it'll open up the original formatting menu if that's more comfortable for you. But one of the reasons I really like this new dynamic menu is because when I highlight a word, it automatically shifts over to the formatting options because it is assuming I'm highlighting the word to bold it or italicize it or something like that. So it's just a lot quicker. I don't have to initiate anything. It just kind of makes the guess for me. And if I go in and highlight the entire paragraph, it switches over to the third set of formatting options that are more applicable to a paragraph. So it's just super convenient and fast. And here's a bonus tip. If I wanted to move one of these bullet points down or rearrange them instead of having to copy and paste it, delete a line, anything like that. Now I can just swipe over to the third set of options and these up and down arrows will actually move the entire line. So spotlight right now is at the top, but I can use the down arrow to move it down, move it down again or back up. It's a super small thing, but it can be really helpful. Another big new feature in Apple Notes is that it now supports importing and exporting of Markdown. It would be awesome if we could actually write in Markdown, but for now we have to settle with importing and exporting only. And so what that is, is it basically converts your note and all the formatting in your notes. So all the titles, bolding, italicized, bullet lists, links, any of the formatting, it converts it into a plain text file so that another app can basically read your note and preserve the formatting. So if you're someone that just likes to leave your notes in Apple Notes, then you might never need this feature. But if you are someone that likes to move your notes around or share your notes with other note platforms, this is huge because it'll just make it so much easier to share your note without having to reformat everything. So all you would have to do is go to the share button in the top right and you'll now see an export as markdown. So you would click on that, it'll prepare the markdown file and then you can share it wherever you need to. To import, it would be the opposite. So you'd go to your files, find the markdown file, share that with Apple Notes to import it and create a new note. There's also a new math note feature. So now any three variable equation can be used to create a 3D graph. So if I write out an equation that has three variables, it'll recognize what it is, and then it'll give me an option to insert 3D graph, and then it'll create exactly what it is and you can make it bigger. You can also go in and change the values live and it'll update in real time and you can even change the color. So candidly not a feature I will probably ever use but for those that will I'm sure this is awesome. And if you have an Apple Watch you can now get Apple Notes on your watch which can be super convenient if you want to quickly glance at an existing note or even quickly create a brand new one. So if you go into your list of apps, you'll now see notes, 
And again, I can scroll through and access any existing note, or in the bottom right, I can click the button to create a brand new note. And it's definitely not very convenient to have to type it out. So if you press on the keyboard, also in the bottom right, you can use the dictation the microphone button to dictate your note and I find that is very helpful and something I use all the time when I'm on the go. One Apple Notes feature that we still did not get and that I am desperately waiting for is the ability to create templates for my notes. So still don't have it but hopefully we get that one sometime soon. Now moving on to Apple Reminders. So when you open the app, it doesn't look all that different but you do have some colors now here at the top. You have your search at the top, you can create a new list from this button here in the middle and the blue button down in the bottom right to create an individual reminder. And then you do have the three dot menu in the top right as usual now with liquid glass that gives you a few more menu options. One of the best new reminders feature is the ability to categorize any list. So this is an Apple intelligence feature. You will need a device that supports Apple intelligence. And if you've been using the groceries list feature, which automatically will organize your groceries into different sections, this works pretty much the same way, but in any list now. So if I were to go into my packing list, for example, I have a list of random items that I would like a little bit more organized, maybe by theme or type to make my packing easier. I can click the three dot menu in the top right and now I'll see an auto categorize feature and if I click that it'll take some time to basically process the request and then it will organize your list into these categories that it came up with and it does do a pretty good job but you can always click in to edit it if you need to. You can now also add a reminders button to your control center to make it even quicker to start a new reminder. So if I pull down from the top right to go into control center and long press, hit add a control, just gonna search for reminder and it'll be the first one at the top, new reminder. So the reminder button is there at the bottom. So now regardless of what I'm doing on my phone, I can always pull down from the top right, click the reminders button, create the new reminder. You can even click to switch the list, add a date and time pretty much anything you would do with a normal reminder. Another thing you can do though, if you long press on the button is you'll get four options of your lists. If you quickly want to add a new reminder to that specific list, it'll bring you into the app. And again, if you have an Apple intelligence compatible device, Apple intelligence can also suggest reminders for you based on what's on your phone. So it can suggest, let's say groceries, or tasks, or even to follow up on emails based on what is in messages and mail. So any of those suggestions would show up as a separate section below here, if there are any, but you can also use the suggestions in apps like Safari and Notes. So one of the best ways to use this new feature, in my opinion, is if you're looking at a recipe in Safari and you scroll down to the list of ingredients, if I now go to share, I can scroll over until I see reminders, click on that, and then it'll take a second and it'll pick up all the individual items and I can say include all and it'll automatically add them as individual items to this reminder so that I don't have to manually do it myself. And same thing in Apple Notes. If you have, let's say, meeting notes with takeaway items or in your course notes you have some homework assigned, you can Go into the note and click the share button at the top, scroll over until you see reminders, and it'll pick up all of the individual line items as suggestions. And you can click to only add specific items to your reminders. There's a little plus button next to each one or include them all by clicking that button. And you can go in first and change any of the info if you wanted to. And then add it and when you go over into your reminder you'll now see all the items have been added to that list of reminders with the notes icon so that you know where this reminder originated from and you can even click on the notes icon to bring you directly into that note so those are all of the new apple notes and apple reminders features that come with ipad os 26 and ios 26. Let me know which of these new features is your favorite and what features are still missing that you're waiting for. I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.